yesterday there was still snow on the ground today 65 degrees and it's been raining had a lot of rain the water's a little murky right here i just walked down here and i saw it looked like tons of bluegill moving into this little creek channel i got a little ultralight rod two pound line and i'm about to put on one of my favorite little bluegill lures just a water not muddy here where all the other creeks are muddy For some reason this one's not muddy it's just a murky i'm gonna go down to the itty bit 148 ounce jig head it's just a real small hook a jig head and we're gonna go with the bright itty bit slab hunter mud dauber so we got a double little double jig head or uh yeah double jig rig and i just oh fish on first cast i looked in here i threw a spinnerbait around a couple just just to mess around and i saw all kinds which look like bluegill they're some kind of sunfish this is a bluegill first cast yeah they're still pretty cold it's, it's amazing how um it feels nice outside today it's crazy how warm it feels out here oh 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 i had one boom fish on tighten that down a little oh no don't get me snagged all right all right, that hit the top one. They're just looking for one to hit. It feels warm out here, but that water's still cold. But that rainwater, um, I bet it warmed up like these little channels. And if you just warms up a few degrees, especially after we've had um, earlier this week, boom, they are hammering it. Earlier this week, we had temp temperatures um, in a single, like close to single digits. So what a changed the weather has been this week and i think these fish noticed it boom too like boom they soon as they felt a little bit warmer weather it's amazing how much harder they're hitting i thought i saw some bigger ones these are all real small a lot of times when they're like that they're just tons and tons of little ones it's hard to man, they are thumping it though hard to find those little bit bigger ones All right, that's a little bit better. Boom. I haven't had a cast yet, not a hit, without a hit. I don't think I've had a cast without a catching a fish. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Eh, not bad. So they're all just bluegill right now. I was wondering if there's going to be any red ear or anything in there. It's amazing how many bluegill. There's got to be thousands of bluegill, I'd say, in this channel. Because I, I could, uh, at one point, whenever they kind of, yeah, I see them over there. They'll, they'll raise up. They're like, they're um, almost at the top of the water. They just kind of sit there. Damn, fish on. Oh. Oh. What? Oh, did we get a double? Or do yes! Yeah! Double bluegill. Let me get a picture before I throw it back in. Oh, he messed up my lure. Hold on, what happened here? Did my lure break or my loop slip? Oh, I broke the loop. It's only a two pound line, so that bigger one broke it. That's not a bad one there. And a little one there. <laughs> that was cool. Well, let me retie. Get these guys back on there. All right, we are back in business. Took me a minute because <laughs> that line's so small, it's hard to mess with. First cast. And there they are. Let's try to get a double. Anything? I don't see any around it. Little bitty dude. kind of work our way um towards oh fish on, towards the mouth i want to make some oh, it came off i want to make some casts kind of out there see if there's anything else i just don't want to gotta be careful fishing around any um metal or something that's gonna break you off because uh 
This line will break quick. Rubbing on something. And there we go. All right, is there anything but bluegill in there? Kind of making me wonder. This little dude's eyes are bulging out. Got my drag, of course, real loose. Let's go over there. Look for anything bigger. Okay, now here's where the creek mouth. This is why there's so many blue there. If this is way up the creek, um, oh, hit right away. I would still have a hard time catching fish, but because it's they're on the mouth of the river, there's going to be warmer water. Ooh, nice bluegill. That's a good one there. That warmer water and then a little warmer rain. That's a nice bluegill. I'd love to double, I need to double up on that. Oh, we got rain coming in now. Ah, oh, the rain let up for a little bit. It's coming right back. Oh man, this is still a little chilly and I don't have a jacket on. So uh, just, thankfully there's a bridge right here I'm gonna stand under, try and fish. Let's throw it out there a little ways, kind of out on the mouth of the river. See if something hits it out there. Where y'all at? Now I'm expecting a bite on every catch. Oh, they got it. Cast. Have a throw at it. Boom. There's one. Oh, alrighty. There we go. Just uh Regular little bluegill. I'm kind of wondering if there's something else. It could be a crappie or yellow bass sitting right in here too, but definitely, like I said, probably thousands of bluegill, I would, I would imagine. Just, I mean, like, there's probably like all over the place. They're probably just, I don't even know. Maybe I need to make some casts in the river. But they're definitely in this little bitty channel right here. They're just loaded in it. Well, I'm getting some bites. Oh, oh no. I don't want to retie. Come on, hook the stick. Come on in, stick. Yeah, not bad. Get out there. Oh yeah. Okay, I thought I would have broke off, but I didn't. Whacked it. What is that? Hey, a little crappie. Oh, and he broke me off again. Well, oh, he's got to lure my mouth. Oh, that's what's going on. I see. So when I'm making that double, when I'm making my loop, the top loop, well, there's a crappie. I think that top loop is coming out just because the, the um, point is not all the way. I can't tell because it's so small. But this line, this two pound line is so small that I think it's um it's coming out. That's why the loop's still good. Didn't break it. Well, let's just go with one for a minute here. Oh, I dropped it right in there. I don't know. What is that? Nice and, oh, just a feisty bluegill. They are sitting right in this little channel. Well, oh yeah, oh, there he is. 
What is that? Oh, here's a little deeper. That. Something different. Okay. Third species, red ear. Got a little bit of red behind the ear right there. It's kind of pale, but that is a red ear. And red ear get bigger than bluegill. So I do like catching them. If I'm gonna choose, I'd rather catch a red ear than a bluegill because red ear get a little bigger and they're stronger for, on average. It's like I'm barely moving this lure and boom, it's getting thumped right, right there in front of me. Little bluegill. Oh, another red ear. Okay, there's some red ear in here. Or shell cracker, whatever you want to call them. There's a log floating down the river there. It's just like knocked loose. I thought the river would be more muddy out there. It's a little muddy and there's definitely logs out there. It's not horrible. And it's non-stop right here, tell you what. Another, what is that, right here? Or bluegill. That's a bluegill. They're both kind of pale in this little murky water here. Whew. Rain let up for a little bit. Just, let's try it out here a little further. I wanna kind of throw it out a little further out. Why, oh, why are they not hitting right there? Oh, over there they're hitting. Alright, that's a thicker one. Nice bluegill. Let's try that again. Right off that pillar. Boom. <laughs> Thumped it. Another blue. All right, we go for three. Going uh, three for three. Yep. What in the world? This guy's tiny. Oh, that's a little one there. But he can still get his mouth around that little lure. All right, we're going four for four off that little bridge pillar. Yep. Another tiny one, goodness. Why are they, those over there so hungry? Gotta keep it going though. Man, is there a bigger one sitting in there that's been watching? Boom, come on, go five. Oh, I had a hit, missed it. Missed him on the fifth. May have been real small. That's why I'm trying to. I'm, try, I'm trying to make some casts out in the river more. Like it's pretty shallow. Kind of. Oh, oh. Yeah, that feels better. That's a good fish right there. Maybe it was a good cast down the river. That's the first bite I've gotten out there. This is a. It's something solid for ultralight, anyways. What I got? Oh yeah. Come on in, white bass. <laughs> Dude. That's a good hit. Oh man, I love when I can catch these guys off the bank. White bass, that was a fight on this little setup. If I caught a fish twice that big, he would be pulling me all around. White bass. Holy cow, what was that? Dude, something splashed right there in front of me. Okay, so I thought maybe the white bass could be in here. If there's more, they should, maybe they're a little deeper out. Let's keep casting out, letting our lure sink. I may have to go with a little heavier jig head, but we got one. Let's do that again. Got this creek channel. It's got some water coming out. All these little bluegill are stacked up in it. They can't go that far until the water rises when they raise it in the uh, spring. So they can't really go way up the creek, but they're like, you know, working their way up it. And we got a little channel out here somewhere somewhere right out here and that white bass was there 
Let's see what else, see if we can get some more. Usually if there's one, there's a lot, but that's not always the case. Boom. That feels good. I just had to let that lure sink a little longer. It's not as big, what is this? Crappie, a black nose. We're just getting all kinds of stuff today. This is crazy. This is a, uh... dude, I, I fished a couple days ago all day and caught like five fish. Now, the white bass is the biggest fish I've caught. We caught a bunch of little small fish, but I would have taken those. We couldn't even, I couldn't even get little fish. Oh, there's something. Another crappie. <laughs> it's getting dark on me here. It's so funny. Like a couple couple videos ago and a few days ago, I'm I'm fishing in 15. It was like started out 15 degrees, warmed up to like 35. Today it's 65 degrees. And I'm just out here in short sleeves, picking off fish left and right. Oh, I missed that one. Okay, let's let's do one more change before we before it gets too dark for us to see. Let me uh, change up something here. All right, we're gonna go with a little bit bigger lure, a live roamer, one twenty fourth ounce jig head. So it's not a whole lot heavier, but it's, it's a little heavier. Uh, let's see there. If I can put that on. Got that on there. It's a little bit bigger bait there. I did a uni knot on the upper and lower so we got double lures Let's see what's out there oh that's a fish that's a good fish too what is it it's not that big but that's another crappie it's crappie are thumping it I hit that bottom one hit the little roamer none of these are keeper yet they're not bad yeah, it's like a five, six inch one. That wind is like warm right now. This is crazy out here. But I, I had a feeling that I was, I was thinking about going bass fishing. I just didn't want to be out there in the rain, but I'm like, I know they'll be hitting. If you can find, uh, you know, find out maybe not too muddy of a water. I'm not, I don't fish muddy water that often, but like, this is just murky here. This ain't muddy. It's still like too, at least two fit visibility. Like, that, that's, I like fishing that. All right, come on. Let's just keep throwing it a little further out there, I guess. Tough fish? Oh, that feels better. It feels like a good crappie. Kind of like that slow fight. Wait, is it a crappie? Oh no, it's not. It's a little white bass. It's not bad. A little white bass. Yes. I'm just happy catching fish today. Man, it feels, <laughs> you don't understand some days when I, like this, this wasn't even the day I was planning on really fishing or making a video, cause I got tomorrow the next two days i'm gonna be at a, a fishing expo so i don't have any time to fish tomorrow or the next day that's friday saturday then sunday i don't i can't really have any time to fish on sunday and then it'll be monday so i got like there's gonna be four days coming up three three days coming up where i won't be able to fish at all plus i haven't been able to fish that much recently because um i've been sick and then it got like super cold it was like i didn't want to go out in 20 degree weather um that much and and when i did try a few times i didn't catch much or if anything so i just show up at a spot that i fish all the time and i just i'm just having a blast just catching anything that's biting right before dark too had a little bit of time i was like let me just i just gotta go out and cast i've been editing trying to get ahead on videos because I'm not gonna be able to edit 
for the next few days. And I'm like, I, mean, I gotta get some videos edited because I'll be busy. But I was like, I gotta get out and cast. Let me just cast. I come down here, I see these little blue, I was just making some random casts. I was like, I, didn't, I was just wasn't really, I was just casting a spinnerbait just because I was bored. And then I saw a bunch of bluegill. I said, let me get out the ultralight. Next thing you know, I'm catching bluegill like crazy. There's fish. I wonder if there's any big crappie in there. These guys, oh, that's a kind of skinny one. These guys are kind of small, but. That's all right. I'm gonna stand here until I stop catching fish or it gets dark, but it should probably be dark in about 30 minutes. It's gonna be kind of dark, so. And it's cloudy, so maybe less than that, but I don't know, it's, it feels too good out here. And if that was the last one, that was pretty cool, but still, I, I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stand out here and catch while it just feels nice to be outside. Oh, oh there we go, oh, oh, oh yeah. That's what I need, right before we leave here, probably. Why well, copy tried taking off with it? It's getting dark pretty fast. Ooh, now nah, there's a keeper. If I was keeping them. White copy, right? There's a black copy. What was it? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's what you count, but the bars are different. I'm pretty sure it's a white copy. But yeah, you see, uh, it's getting dark. I hadn't got a bite for a minute, then boom. That guy really thumped it. I'm throwing this lure right here, and I just can't get the bluegill to eat it. They're biting it, where I was catching them like crazy with that little bit of lure. It's, it's amazing that little bit of difference to catch um, those bluegill. But I'm hoping to get maybe one or two more fish, either crappie or white bass out here. Well, I appreciate everybody watching. And I know some of y'all are still covered in snow and gonna be froze out for months, but spring is coming. It always comes, you know, no matter what, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna happen as long as we're here. And, um, you know, and a lot of y'all, some of y'all can do this all year, but a lot of y'all wait, like are always waiting. So I'm always glad to have a ultralight rod or some kind of multi-species rod ready to go. And I'll leave a link to this one. This was, this is that um, the aggressively average anglers rod um, that they gave me um, a couple months ago. And if you don't follow their YouTube channel, they do a lot of uh, kayaking and pan fishing, but they live up north where they don't get to do that. They probably wish they were doing this right now. But I'll leave a link. They, they made this rod and it's a six foot ultralight rod. It is a really fun rod for this type of stuff. Now I have two pound, um, I think it's mono. It's a two pound, like a nice higher end mono. This little reel is a, the drag on it's been really good because you want a really nice drag, um, not something real cheap where it'll snag. So um, I'm really like, I'm liking this reel. It feels pretty good on there. And um, of course the Bobby Garlands and um, all the different ones I was using and the jig heads. They have a lot of different jig heads. Um, I have a discount code where you can get those at lurenet.com. And that's a company I've been working with for ooh, almost three years now. And they've been a very helpful partner with me. They supplied me with a lot of lures um, and they pay me. And so that allows me to keep, keep making these videos. And um, I pre especially appreciate it because that company is just is just in oh oh man i had that one they're they're really in line with like the kind of stuff i like doing um and i love all the little different sizes and just different in between sizes jig heads and lures and stuff so you can get 15 percent off um using my code my code uh, dalton 15. and i forget to tell you sometimes i'm not trying to like tell you that to sell stuff or to make you go buy any of this stuff but people are watching I know there's people watching that want to know and I'm the same way I'll watch videos and I'm like I want to know what you're using I want to know how much that costs um, like is it $50 is it $200 is it this or that so 
I'll try to share some of that stuff and also discount codes. If you're going to buy stuff, you know, you like to save a little bit of money if you can or, or at least know where to find stuff. So it's getting dark and I'm getting a couple hits out here. I just haven't been able to hook up with them. But man, this was a fun hour and uh, 12 minutes when I walked down here. So I couldn't ask for a better hour and 12 minutes, pretty much, especially in the wintertime. Thanks for watching. Oh, I got a fish. I was looking at my phone and I hooked into something. Sometimes that helps you. It's amazing how many times you catch fish when you're looking at your phone because you pause your lure. There's, a, there's your extra tip of the day that wasn't playing on it. So I think pausing and let your lure just fall and try to do as less as possible. That always seems to catch more fish. It's amazing how many times that happens. You look at your phone, you're not doing nothing. Your lure just goes dead and boom, you catch a fish.